Hi everyone, today is Tuesday, January 4th. Um, as you can see, I'm out again today, so just make sure you watch this video in its entirety so you know um, what you're going to be working on for today's class. And just like usual, if you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email or ask the sub. Okay, so what we're going to be working on today is we are really just picking up where you left off yesterday with the Understanding Salinity Lab. Um, so you're going to basically be finishing that lab today. Um, I will go over the directions for part three and four, um, which we did not go over in yesterday's video. Uh, and the homework for tonight is the same as it was yesterday, is to continue looking over the uh, midterm review materials um, and also starting to work on the actual study guide. Um, and then, like I mentioned before, as soon as I'm back in school, we'll go over all the nitty gritty details about the midterm and studying and things like that. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> So as far as understanding salinity goes, um, you need to complete part one and two, which I know is what kind of you're on right now um, from yesterday. Part one was the reading and the couple questions. Part two was um, making the graph. Um, so the parts that we need to go over together today are part three and four. Um, so at this point, it might be a good time to pause the video so you can open up your assignment um, and follow along with me. Um, so if you want to pause it, go ahead now and do that and you can jump right back in with me with the uh, with the actual document okay so let's take a look at part three and four um, so part three is a little bit about measuring salinity um, so you're going to read the information uh, it gives you a little bit more about the measurements and the instruments that we use to measure the salinity of the ocean so you're going to answer those couple questions there and then you're going to use this little data table to do a little conversion to make some measurements using specific gravity um, to determine salinity of different bodies of water and you'll answer those couple questions um, and then when you get down to the last portion of part three right here in this little data table where it says mixture one two and three you will not be doing that since i'm not there to Sorry, guys. Set up the mixtures. Hey, uh, you can just kind of skip over that part. And the same thing for part number four. This requires a whole bunch of materials, and you really need me to be there in order to do this density challenge. So we are going to skip part four. So essentially what you need to have completed is, again, all of part one and two, which I know is what you're working on now, um, and then those first couple parts of part three. You do not need to do the part about the mixtures or the density challenge in part four. Um, when you're all finished with those, you need to show the sub, um, the online document, and your graph so they know that it's completed, um, so you get credit for your work, and then they will give you a copy of my answer key so you can check your work and see that you are on track with your understanding of salinity. Uh, if you happen to finish um, a little bit early, you can use that time to work on your study guide for the midterm. Hey, um, if you don't finish it by the end of class, then please make sure that you have it completed by the time you come into class tomorrow. Um, again, if you have any questions, please let me know. You can shoot me an email. I'll be checking throughout the day today. Um, or, of course, ask the uh, sub. They'll be more than happy to help you. Uh, I hope to see you guys tomorrow, and uh, have a great day. Bye.